Good food handling practices should be practiced both at home and on the farm. The last thing you want to do is get yourself, co-workers, or consumers sick from risky food preparation practices that you are using. It is important to understand how pathogens can enter the home, what food handling practices you can use to reduce them, and practices that will reduce the potential for cross-contamination to fruits and vegetables in the home and on the farm. We all can be considered food handlers at some point in the day, whether it's making ourselves a meal or whether it's picking the produce to eat. As such, we can be affected by food safety practices, either negatively as demonstrated by foodborne illnesses and death, or positively by having safe, wholesome, and nutritious fruits and vegetables at our tables to eat. Cross-contamination from our home food handling activities to the farm is a real concern for agricultural workers. There are things that you do not want to do in your home that add to the chances that you or your family will get sick from a foodborne illness. Potential areas of concern can center on common, everyday events. For instance, changing a diaper, going to the bathroom, or even taking out the trash without washing your hands and then preparing food after any of these events can increase the risk of transferring foodborne illnesses. You should not leave food out on the counter that needs to be refrigerated, such as eggs. It is important to keep foods hot or cold as recommended so that bacteria do not grow on the food. In your home, it is important to make sure that you are serving your family the safest foods possible because no one wants to make another family member sick. For that reason, if you are handling, tending to, or helping a family member or infant who is sick, has gone to the bathroom, or has an open wound, you should always wash your hands before and after. When making a meal, it is better to prepare the raw produce before you begin to prepare the raw meat. Never combine raw meat and raw produce. Use separate cutting boards if necessary. When preparing raw meat, be certain not to taste it and make sure that the utensils you are using for the raw meat do not come in contact with any other food products. Using a thermometer to ensure that the meat is cooked to a temperature that will kill harmful bacteria can help in stopping the transfer of pathogens that can get you or your family sick. Any member of the family who is preparing food should be aware of the dangers in preparing food that is not cooked thoroughly, just as they should know about the potential of spreading bacteria by handling food with unclean hands. Bacteria can grow on food when it is handled or stored in ways that are not correct. It is your responsibility, if you are preparing or helping cook food for yourself or your family, to make sure the food you are serving has been made using safe and sanitary practices.